Here's our boy, guys. Stinky little boy. Yep, this is Jonah. Hi, Phil. Lots of worries. Lots of worries, lots of looking, lots of crying, lots of praying. And he's purring, a little rascal. So we've tracked down a little bit of the story, but not all of it. Um, so I had called our sh shelter yesterday. They had the right number. And they said, well, he's not there. He's on his way to the shelter. So we switched gears and headed to the shelter. And when I walked in, um, she said, I don't think it is your cat because it's not the right color. And she thought he was gray tiger. And, you know, he's more brown tiger. And so I said, well, let's go see him and open the door. And he poked his darn nose out. And it was, it was of course, Jonah. So they knew nothing, um, nothing of uh, the story. So Steve and I drove over to, to them, Siler's, and... and uh, she told me that he turned up there Friday, late afternoon. So it's seven miles from here to there. There is no way, Jonah, he's 15. There is no way that he could have um, walked that. Um, so I don't know. He had to have gotten in a car somehow, up in the engine or something. I don't know. You wouldn't have done that. But sure he wasn't tired. <laughs> so he got sure there Friday time. afternoon. And, um, yeah, it was those scratch. The scratch. You know how here when he <gasps> meows, it's that ah, 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 kind of noise. That's all I ever hear out of him. She said, Well, we heard this meowing at the back door and loud. And I thought, Oh gosh, Jonah. Mm -hmm. And uh, she said, There was Jonah. And uh, so they didn't let him in. They didn't feed 
kingdom. So we well, have to feed them. Me, I'm getting food. Okay. I'm getting food right now. And um, huh? they just left them there, but but petted them. And they have a uh, tarp in their cat, back patio. So they saw them go underneath there. And can you imagine how cold it was Friday night and Saturday night? And uh, so Saturday morning he was there, and they just said hi and that stuff to him. And um, God, hungry. And then he disappeared from there. He was not there all Saturday late morning and afternoon. And then he showed up again Saturday night and then was there again this morning. So they put him in the carrier and took him out to the shelter. They called out there. They should call said, their friends. I know I don't understand that. Because they knew of us. I don't understand why they didn't call us first. But it doesn't matter. He's home. <laughs> yeah, he's grounded. He's grounded. And he's going to get his walking papers revoked. That's hard. Oh, my gosh. We worried so much about him because he's so old. We were so worried about him. We went back to Kitty City since I started. Yeah. 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 I think we'll put him in the top back comfort room so he can, he needs brushed. He's very, very hairy. And we'll check him over again. Well, I think that's enough for right now, isn't it? Yeah, maybe in 10, 15 minutes yeah. we'll give him a little. That was good stuff. So he's back. It, it had to have been so cold for him last night. You know, most people don't have microchips. And, uh, but I'm thinking of um, putting a collar, a breakaway collar on all of these guys with, with the rescue center's name. He looks, he does look thinner. There's no, absolutely no doubt that he's has gone a few days without food. And his toesies are cold. We'll have to get a warming heated up. <laughs> he burped. Did he burp? <laughs> <laughs> I so I told you it was good stuff. So thank you all for your prayers and for caring. And all the way, you can tell by my cold, he's rubbed and rubbed and rubbed on me all the way home. Yeah. Yeah, this was the original Kobe. He is the first. He's the reason that we made Cat's Cove the Cat's Cove. It was made for him and Blossom. Um, well, the people who had him didn't know he belonged here because he has no collar. Yeah, he has no collar, so they didn't know. So thank God that they took him to the shelter. I called the shelter yesterday, and they they did call me before he even got there to say um, that there was a tiger white male three-legged cat coming in. So I was sure it had to be him until I walked in the door, and they said, we don't think it is him. Are you tired? <laughs> he says, I'm so worried to be back. I know it's I know it's causing us a lot of gray hair. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna put him in the back, let him we'll turn the light off back there and give him a clean bed and he needs brushed out terribly bad. Give him some more food in a little bit. And uh, get him a heater. Well they got it. The warning's in the microwave. We gotta give you over to Connie again too. She's out there. Okay, she worried about him too. Yeah, there's there's absolutely no way he could have walked that, and especially to be there Saturday or that Friday. <laughs> That's the day that they got out. Yeah, he will have a warning. So he had to get in somebody's car that was had to him. Yeah. I asked them if they had been here and they hadn't, but somebody, 
somebody over right. there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I know Kanye was worried. He would have come. Yeah, I would have fell everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you all for caring. Oh, yeah. Could yeah. you have gotten any updates for us? I don't think so. He's pretty. He's not so agile anymore. All right, buddy. And we're still going to have boxes here in just a few minutes. Yeah, I saw it. You're, you're late. Yeah, we have no idea. Oh, but he sure is happy, isn't he? See, he would have got it in tears because she was so mm -hmm. worried. Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you all. Look at Asha. Yeah. My hands are just so big. Keep going. All right, let's see. Did they ask me a third time? They have any attention you did, they all shall. See, I'm sitting up here beautiful and they just don't pay any attention to me. You're just sitting here looking at me. See, I got three legs and I do.